Little Humpty by Margaret Wilde and Anne James. In the hot, hot desert where the wind world and the sand swirled lived Big Humpty and Little Humpty. Little Humpty liked to play all day. He liked stepping in Big Humpty's footprints. He liked scampering under her tummy. He especially liked tugging her tail, then running off calling, you can't catch me. Big Humpty chased him here and there. When she caught him, she gave him a hug, sloppy kiss, and said, you know, Little Humpty, I love you best in all the world. With a happy wriggle, Little Humpty said, tell me about the world, Big Humpty, tell me. So Big Humpty told him about crocodiles and cranes, about elephants and eagles, about hippos and rhinos, about fishes and frogs. I'm a frog, said Little Humpty. Look at me jumping in the puddles. Come and jump too, Big Humpty. So she did. One day, after Big Humpty's tail had been tugged three times in a row, she said, no more for now. She flopped down in the shade of the one palm tree. Little Humpty played on his own for a while. He whooshed on his bottom down a billowy, pillowy dune. He stuck his head between his legs. He ran round and round in circles, trying to catch his tail. When there was absolutely nothing else to do, he looked hopefully at Big Humpty, but her eyes were half closed. So Little Humpty went looking for someone to play with. Will you play with me? He asked Twisty Rock. Will you play with me? He asked Graggly Bush. Will you play with me? He asked Small Pebble. But Twisty Rock and Scraggly Bush and Small Pebble didn't reply. Bah, said Little Humpty sadly. That night, while the wind whirled and the sand swirled, Little Humpty snuggled up against Big Humpty as he always did and quickly fell asleep. But Big Humpty was awake until the stars went out. She thought about how fast Little Humpty was growing up and how she'd seen him trying to play with the rock and the bush and the pebble. Bah, she said softly. In the morning, Big Humpty said, Surprise, Little Humpty, today we're going to walk all the way to the Great Waterhole. The Great Waterhole? said Little Humpty. What will we see there, Big Humpty? What do you think? asked Big Humpty. As they began the long, hot walk, Little Humpty said, I think we'll see hippos. Lots and lots of roly-poly hippos rolling in the mud. Goodness, wouldn't that be wonderful, said Big Humpty. As they walked on and on, Little Humpty said, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet. There's still a long, long way to go, said Big Humpty. What else do you think we'll see at the Great Waterhole, Little Humpty? Little Humpty said, I think we'll see elephants, lots and lots of elephants, tramping and trumpeting. I'd like to see that, said Big Humpty. As they walked on and on and on, Little Humpty said, are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there? Not quite, said Big Humpty. What else do you think we'll see at the Great Waterhole, Little Humpty? Little Humpty said, I think we'll see crocodiles. Lots and lots of crocodiles going snip, snap, snippity, snap. Ooh, said Big Humpty. That'd be something to see. As they walked on and on and on and on, Little Humpty said, are we nearly, nearly there? And at last, Big Humpty said, yes, we are nearly, nearly, nearly there. Then they were right there. Little Humpty's eyes grew big. What he saw was better than roly-poly hippos rolling in the mud, better than elephants tramping and trumpeting, better than crocodiles going snip, snap, snippity, snap. Oh, said Little Humpty, I see lots and lots of Little Humpties, just like me. Lots and lots of Little Humpties to play with, said Big Humpty. Bah, said Little Humpty happily. Big Humpty tugged his tail. You can't catch me, she said and off they ran to the great waterhole.